Hey, my honey doo-wops, I'm back and I'm here to present to you guys my new favorite wig right now and it's from Elva Hairs. Now, this video is done in partnership with Elva Hairs, so thank you to Elva Hairs. But I'm showing you guys how everything looked when I received it in the package. It was sent DHL and it came in three days. You get a pamphlet, you get a wig cap, but it's like the, um, the net, the stocking net. They give you some eyelashes, but I didn't like them. They're, they look more like cosplay type of lashes. A nail file, and of course, the wig. Now, the packaging, I am I love the packaging. Um, I like that it came in a box. That way I can store it in the bag and the box if I want to. But the bag is really nice, too. It's not that like AliExpress plastic. It's that real nice, durable type of plastic bag, you feel me? But anyway, what I like about this wig the most is that it became pre-plucked, so... It just makes the job so much easier. And this is a 13 by six um, lace wig. You get four combs, you get two on the side, one at the crown and one in the back with adjustable straps. Um, it is a 13 by six at the top portion of the head. On the side, I would say it's about three inches. So I'm gonna be bleaching the knots and I'm using my BW2 powder as well as my 20 volume developer. And I'm going to mix the two and I want to get it to a very thick consistency. And you guys, I don't know what it is. I have been trying different types of methods and ways to not let the bleach bleed through, but it does every time. So I'm using a plastic fork. That way I'm not applying any more pressure. And I tried to make my uh, bleach extremely thick. But anywho, I'm applying that all over now. Maybe it's because I went to the... Um, baby hairs first or the hairline first so if you guys will let me know if you had experiences with bleaching your knots do you bleach your hairline first or do you bleach that last let me know but anyways after i let that process for 25 minutes i'm gonna go into the kitchen to wash out my wig first i just go ahead and rinse off the all the bleach off my herbal essence hello hydration shampoo as well as my aussie moist um conditioner sorry so I'm going to go ahead and wash the lace really good on the inside and then I'm going to go ahead and wash the entire wig as well. So I just wash my wig like you would wash any other wig. There's no real tutorial on that. I'm just walking you guys through it and then I'm going to go ahead and saturate my wig with my Aussie Moist. Now if you'd like you can go ahead and deep condition um, your wig. I did buy some little packets at Sally's but I didn't deep condition because I just didn't feel like waiting even longer to put my wig on. I was just like just get it over with and to be quite honest the hair didn't need a deep condition. So I went ahead and rinsed out my wig and I'm going to show you guys a close-up of how I over bleach my knots so as you can see at the root of the wig it's very the, the bleach went all the way through so I'm like shit so I ran to Sally's and I picked up a few products but I want to show you how the wig looks after it dried so as you can see very clear <laughs> I over bleached the knots and I was so pissed because I just want to get it over with and it didn't work out so I got this ion color brilliance and a dark natural brown i thought i got it in a natural black but actually i love this because i like for my for the roots to not look so dark and this was perfect so i got that with the 10 volume developer and i mix um i forgot the ratio but i went, followed the directions and i'm using a uh, uh, what do you call this a mascara wand you can buy a pack of them at Sally's for like a couple of bucks and I like to use this method to go ahead and retouch my roots of my wig so if you run into the problem and you over bleach your knots this is a really really good method I would tell you to be very careful you don't want to stain your lace I just part each section and I just take the um the mascara wand and I use I uh apply the dye on the bottom and the top I don't brush it all the way through. I'm just trying to focus on the roots because that's where it's over processed. And I go ahead and after I apply that, I go ahead and let that sit for, I believe it was 20 minutes. It was 15 to 25 minutes. I followed the directions according to the hair dye. So after that, I rinsed, or I conditioned the wig. I didn't shampoo it again. I just co-washed it. 
and I'm applying it to see how I like it. I cut off the lace. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Got To Be hairspray. Um, I typically use the gel and the hairspray, but um, I wanted to get this over with, so this is great. It doesn't last as long with both, but it does last for a couple of days for me. So I go ahead and I apply the hairspray and I blow dry it down to get a little tacky. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay the wig. Now you can go ahead and pre-pluck the wig more if you like. Um, I know it seems like this wig is really far on my forehead and that's because the wig cap is a little spacey. So if I would have pulled it back more, it would have looked really big in the back. So I kind of had to pull it down on my forehead a little closer, but I mean, it's okay. It didn't look too bad. Now I'm just using my toothbrush to go ahead and apply pressure as I blow dry to make sure the lace wig is secure. Now I'm gonna use this alcohol. I believe it's not 50% you should use. It's a different percentage, but this is what I had on hand just to go ahead and remove all that hairspray. I'm just showing you guys how the wig looks after I've applied it. I haven't laid any baby hairs down, but just to show you, I have not went in and pre-plucked it at all. This is how the wig looks straight out the bag. And I showed this back shot just so you guys can see how the back of the wig looks. Um, now I'm going to do a curved part. You can do a middle part. You can do a side part. Um, this wig is very versatile and it does have lace in the back. So if you want to put it in a ponytail, you are able to do so. Now I'm just going to go ahead and um, spritz my hair or the wig with some water to go ahead and make it a little more manageable. And I'm using my Cantu Wave Whip Curling Mousse to go ahead and style it. I love this to style this wig in particular because it is super lightweight. When it's, once it's done drying, it literally feels like you have nothing on your hair or on the wig. It doesn't feel weight down at all. I like to use mousse when I'm working with my curly units. Um, I like to use curling creams, gels, or anything like that. It just makes the hair so weight down. And I'm using my Tango, Tango Tamer Teaser, whatever it's called. I got that at Sally's, but I'm using that to go ahead and brush through the hair, define those curls. This is a really beautiful wig. And honestly, I did, um, I styled this hair in a twist out and it came out so gorgeous. So you can twist this hair up at night as well. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and create some baby hairs because the baby hairs are a bit long. So I'm just taking out some hairs, taking my razor um, and cutting them down or shaving them down. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay them down with my got to be glue gel. And I'm using my toothbrush on one side and then I'm using my um, spoolie on the other side. I like to use uh, the spoolies just because I feel like they lay my lace wig edges the best. My toothbrush lays my own edges the best, but a spoolie, if you don't use a spoolie, go ahead and give it a try. I promise you will love it. And you guys, this is the finished look. Once it dried down, it was so pretty. Um, everyone was asking me about this wig once I uploaded a picture on my Instagram. So here you guys are. It is a very affordable wig. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it sheds a little, just a little bit. Not too much, not clumps of hair at all. It sheds just a little bit. But if you guys want to go ahead and check out Elva Hair, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, bomb ass wig, not even lying. Go ahead and check out the link in my description box. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace to fingers.